Thank you very much, fellow Kenyans. I'm Babu Oino, member of parliament for Mbakasi East constituency. I want to talk about the Kirima's land question or the Kirima's land saga. Next week, the 17th day of January, 2024, Court of Appeal bench shall be sitting to determine the admissibility of the appeal that is before the court. And I want to advise the judges that they should be considerate in this matter. They should not go with what the Kirimas are saying because the said land in question has a lot of challenges and members of the public have a right to appeal. The people, the residents who are staying in the said land has a right to appeal. The decision from the lower court, which is the environment and the land court, and that decision, which was appealed some months ago, has a right to be admitted under the constitution as enshrined in the apex of the law, which states that everyone has a right to be heard and a fair determination given for that matter. Going by the torrent system, and I want to invite the judges to look at the torrent system and to look at the torrent principles and to look at the case, the authority which is relevant, that is the case of Dina management versus the county government of Mombasa. And the case clearly shows all the four principles of the torrent system. Number one, the mirror principle that states clearly that whatever one has in his custody should be equivalent to what is at the registry. Number two, the insurable principle that states clearly that in case the government misleads members of the public or the owner of the land in question, then the government is responsible to pay damages to the owner of the land. The government is responsible to indemnify the owner of the land, as in our case, where the minister for lands misled members of the public to believe that the said parcel of land belonged to the Kirimas, yet the said parcel of land belongs to the Dominicos. Number three is the curtain principle. The curtain principle states clearly, whatever is happening on the ground should be the exact thing happening at the back of the registry or in the registry. And lastly, the indefeasibility principle that states that ownership of land, there can only be one owner of a parcel of land at a time. And when we look at dinner management versus the county government of Mombasa, it was decided by the court that just a mere search is not sufficient. Just ownership, having ownership or being in possession of the title deed is not enough proof or enough evidence to ownership of a parcel of land. And therefore, a root search must be done to determine the history. A root search of the title must be done to determine the history of the title in question. And therefore, I invite the judges of the Court of Appeal, number one, to grant us stay orders pending litigation, pendente lite, and to ensure that this case is determined within the shortest period possible so that my people can get justice. And I'm hopeful that next week we shall get stay orders. Thank you and God bless you.